What's up, guys? So, more front mission. First things first. Gotta set up all. Set up my best mechs, because. I forgot to give Sakata better weapons last time. We're gonna start with body, though. Mm. Minus two to hit, though. But it, it does up the weight. Hold on. Yeah, I realized the last battle, I was like, oh shit, I need to make sure I get everybody. Better, better weapons and such. Increases her shorts. Okay, for her, that's actually good. Because she only uses shorts. No man. I must be a freezing. It's the freeze gun. So we got three by twenty two. Sixty six, sixty six. Four by fifteen. Oh man, my math is bad. 4 times 10 is 40. Times 5 is 20, so that's 60. I guess more long range. Or actually, hold on. Well, engine plus a hundred, though. I thought I already given her. Yeah, she already has a cemetery.
Hey, what's up, bro? I'm a champion. Am I a champion? Hold on, let me... How's your neck going? I looked over and I noticed the internet fluctuating. But it's nothing I'm doing. Alright. This song's fantastic, by the way. I could listen to this song for hours. Um, I'm gonna up a short. God, Frederick's so far behind. I have so much money, though, I might as well just... Upgrade as many people as I can. Classic. But then again, Squaresoft back then wasn't fucking around with music. They're just like, oh, we're gonna make some of the best music of all time, alright. Uh, that's fine. I don't need missiles. I only need missiles on certain guys. Okay, so Yang I did upgrade a little bit. Plus 100 engine is too good. I think I'm gonna have to do use that use that on my main guy too. Yeah, I hate to stop and do this, but I think this is the type of game where it's like every three battles, you have to just upgrade all your equipment. Okay, so she needs something with fighting. Seconds are fighting to 99. Which is awesome. Alright, let's do left grip, and let's see if there's any other better melee... You know what, maybe I'll give the gray eye to the other, to Sakata. Upgrading is one of the best parts of gaming. It just reminds me of, um, remember like Gran Turismo back in the day? You just like, go through the menus and like, look at all the cars, change the paint colors and the, the engine out and everything. That's, that's, that's what it reminds me of. Mm. 
Good old Gran Turismo. Because 4x15 is good. 3x22. Maybe I'll do 1 and 1. That'll be the bed. Hey, what's up, Schmelliwork? Robots, that orange robot has a stick. I know. I'm trying to, I was trying to see if there was a bigger stick I can give it, but. Good old Yang. So I almost got to upgrade everybody, which was nice. How's your night going? Yeah, there'll be a... They just don't give you new sticks every level. I'm kind of hoping later on at the end game they give you the lightsaber. It's, you know, Gundam and everything. But really, Star Wars, but Gundam. Yeah. Well, that's good. Uh, and focus on the long game, which means Hold on. I'm going to try to get him a long range. My grip will be Thank you. shoulders. Let's do Thank you. Thank you. Mm. I'm also gonna give, I guess the older is one of my short range guys. Hold on, let me see. I have a bunch of extra weapons. So, because I buy so much crap... Well, you'll see. I have all this extra crap I could sell. Wait, can I just sell a bunch at a time? Uh, this game is good. This game is good. Arpeggio. Oh, I gotcha. These are just the ones I've been buying. Type 90, engine 300. Hold on, let me see. I just want to see setup wise if uh, that extra body looked okay. I just want to see. Maybe I bought that. Maybe I got that in battle. Well, it does lower the weight. That's about it. Where's the weight by 10? Yeah. 
It also lowers defense by four. I might be able to do that and then put on some better, uh, better long range weapons though. Got the weight. Oh, well, never mind. It's that other, the engine, you just want the higher engine number then, because it ups the overall weight that you can carry anyways. Yeah, there we go. Did I upgrade Alder already? Yes, I did. So I'm gonna upgrade Hans. Should be the last guy I need to upgrade. Though. And he's another long range. What do you get? What are you? Some of you guys' favorite uh, favorite giant robot uh, shows or? Comics. Uh, I really like the original Gundam. Uh, a couple of the, the other Gundam series I like too. Do long range. I go long range. Zeta Gundam. There's another show I really like that's like no one really talks about, but it was uh I thought it was pretty good back in the day. Um Hold on, I'm looking at my thing right now so I can tell you. Uh oh yeah, Macross. I need to finish watching all the Macross stuff. Macross is pretty good. Um, shit, what was the name of it? I'll think of the name of it here eventually. I have too much anime. Too much anime. Yeah, that looks like a long range gun though, right? Like, just like. It's too bad it's short though.
gotta equip some health items. Why? Because last time I forgot to equip health items. A lot of this game is just set up. A lot of this game is just like, oh, did you bring health items? Oh, did you get that new weapon? I wish you could just, it's cool that you can buy like 50 of them at a time, but I wish you could just like equip 50 of them at a time. Make repair the game. Hells you. You gonna tell me how to repair my max? Get for a small too. Those are not going to trouble. I almost popped in Fantasy Star 4, but I figured I'm already most of the way through this game. I should, uh, I should finish this game off. And I was also thinking about Shining Force, and then I was also thinking about I don't know. There's a lot, a lot on the horizon. It's games to buy. Uh, yeah, Frederick's good. I don't need to give him that much. Tell some of the long range guys don't use items as much. Alder probably needs some items, so. Bobby? Damn it, Bobby. Alright. The USN is on the verge of surrendering before you go after the dispersed enemy troops. I've got another job for you. The chairman of Sakata Industries, Reiji Sakata, will be visiting the city to observe the factory. I want you to be the welcoming committee. Reiji Sakata? Be on your guard. There's a rumor that the terrorist group Soul of Huffman is in U.S. and territory, that is all. Well. He's in the office. Our crystal. The, ter the terrorist group Soul of Huffman is around here somewhere. But they only target the military, isn't that strange? Looks like you're a mercenary too. I guess it was good for the both of us. We went to the OCU. Oh, I can't believe that we've been overrun. I just wanted to spend the rest of my life in peace. Poor lady. Seems there's a Wanza unit called Carrying Crow strutting their stuff around here. Don't they know they couldn't have won the war without the regular army's tank forces? No, the tanks suck. Just get blown up. Oh, 
We'll arrive in a moment, sir. Good. It's him. I found you, Sakata. Oh, shit. An unidentified one, sir. USN? No, their movement's too erratic. Terrorists, then. Probably. See, I upgraded just enough guys. Alright, so let's see. Looks like this poor helicopter's over here, so... Oof. I know, they really wanna... They wanna test my... Test my skills. kind of hoping that both those would hit. Yeah, Natalie's long range isn't great. Oh, new enemy music. I like it. Damn. Well, at least the helicopter's moving out of... moving out of the distance of these guys. That's how he's supposed to hit. Just hit like that. See how Cicada's new guns do. Pretty good, except that guy did pretty good too. Try to stand pat over here with some of these guys.
boom, boom, boom. All right. He took him out at least. Damn, we failed our mission. All units withdraw. Better evacuate as well. Oh, that was the leader guy? I swear that in these games you have to dogpile every opponent. Yeah, it's like... It's like chess if you had to attack three pieces on one piece. Which does actually alter the strategy of how you would do everything. Oh, these guys aren't backing off. No, I was wondering why that guy did so much damage to Sakata, but if he's the boss guy, I mean, that makes more sense. Two. Oh, there's some guys on this side coming. At least getting the big guy out of the way first is a big advantage. I think so, yeah. JJ is not great at missling, but he's pretty good at hand to hand. Graphical, graphical issues there. This game's always been hard. I mean, you know, I'm playing this on the actual Super Nintendo, and it's just like, Jesus. I had to get a fucking Japanese copy of this game and copy over the translation. So I think that's the only, only way this game's ever going to play right. those two guys I could take out. I have a couple guys down there. Get him. Nice. One. 
long range attacks. And short range attacks. What did it say? It, it must have just stunned him for like three seconds or something. I'm assuming this guy's gonna get to the helipad, then I'm gonna have to protect him up there too, so. No, that's one of my original plans. That's how, like, crazy into the Super Nintendo I am, and I just. It's kind of funny. Um. I, I really want to get... It's just a little thing where you transfer over memory from the computers to the chips. So that way you could move over any kind of game. I just haven't got around to doing all that stuff, but... It's super neat. Like the Dynasty Warrior Gundam games, you got parts from all the suits of combat. Oh, nice. Yeah, I heard those were pretty fun. I think I played the one on the PS3 for a little while. Rat Mount Body. I actually want to play through the Super Robot Wars games. I just thought the, the chibi style always stops me, but um, some of those are pretty rad. I'd actually say that those games, those games are a bit tougher than this game, I think. Ow. It's hard to say. Maybe I just played this one too much. That's why I'd like to beat this game. Because I played this game a, a lot. Since the early... It's like 2004 or something like that when I played it in Windows. Ooh. Yeah. One, two, three, and re reborn. Reborn was a PS3 through exclusive download. Damn, that's a lot of games. There's three guys over there, and there's this one stranded guy that'll kind of take care of that guy, whatever, because he sucks. And there's two guys over here.
Oh, you know what? Paul's actually in a good spot right there. I know, I'm always going for the body hits. The body, the body. Oh, come on. Miss, level up. Long range, short range. Short range and long range. Wow, he missed twice. Oh darn. I was kinda hope I was kinda hoping he'd be able to hit one of those guys, but I might have wasted all my missiles already. Again, his long range isn't very good, but this grape tea is fantastic. Take it easy, Triple. Thanks for hanging out, man. It's always good to see you guys. Like, I'm always glad to hang out with everybody when I can. Hit. 
Hey, what's up, Barry? Doing pretty good. Just have to upgrade my equipment every couple of battles, but, uh, doing pretty damn good. How's your neck going? Looks like they're doing giant robot things. Pretty much. Nice. All about that long range. I really enjoyed this game. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. Wouldn't be an RPG or SRPG without upgrades. Yeah, you gotta have those upgrades. It just, it takes so long to do them. I was laughing because it was like the first 30 minutes of the playthrough is me just upgrading my guys. Damn. I'm still playing Triangle Strategy. It's been a blast. You like Shining Forest? Triangle Strategy would probably be a game. Hells yeah, I need to get it. I've heard a lot of people talking about it. It's probably the next Switch game I'm going to try to buy. Well, that and Skyrim. Mostly just so I can have portable Skyrim. But I was waiting until it was like $10. It's all off on his lonesome. It really is really really scratched my strategy RPG at a lot. Well that's good. Especially if you like Shining Force. I've been trying to I need a the remember the Fire Emblem I was playing on the Super Nintendo? I think it's three. I need to give that one another shot. And um actually see if my guy I can get my guys to live through the game. Cause I would like to beat that one. It's always so funny when you do so much damage they're like, uh little pea shooters. I'm gonna give me a free copy of Oblivion. So I've been playing that. Dang, it's so dated. Dated but tasty. Now, Oblivion came out like a billion years ago, though. Oblivion came out when I still had aspirations of like life related things. When I was in shape and, and super young. <laughs> and also super stupid and like... Pop. Oh, he stunned him too. Final blast! Oh, dang. Thanks for the sub, man. Very grateful. You guys are always hooking me up with stuff. Two months streak. It's pretty pretty awesome.
Well, that's good. I'm glad I can keep you entertained. That's what I aim. That's what I aim to do. Please come over here, Chairman Scuttle. I tried giving you a birthday gift, but you basically refused it. Oh, so you know, with that, so here's the funny thing. I actually had all that set up. I just didn't have it on the banner thing yet. So it's fixed now. But I actually am grateful that you brought that up, so that way I have it on there now, so it actually works properly. It's definitely been more than two months for getting consistent. This is probably was weird. Yeah, it's always strange. I need to get it because I need to buy some SD cards. I've been waiting for you, Sherman. You were here? What were you doing poking around out here at a time like this? I'm making sure you don't do something foolish. Me? Ha ha ha. The Metal Walker project is going well. No need to worry. We should we should worry about talking taking care of those terrorists. Very well. We will likely have to alter the plan soon. Let's discuss this with the heads of both countries. You aware that Ryuchi was was in that defense unit? What? Fusion? Ryuji Sakamoto. Funny. So first thing, cool, save, so that way I don't have to do that battle again. No, I will say, though, I like the SD card, though, because that way I've had so many issues with save files lately that it's like, all right, it's saved. We know it's saved. It's going to work. I don't know what's going on with the internet tonight. It's been so... Back and forth and shitty. I'm sorry. But yeah, no, I got all... I got all that fixed, so, uh... I was actually thinking I should, uh, draw, like, a... Thing on the button, but then I was like, eh, it's kind of cheesy. It's kind of cheesy the way it is. I, I kind of like it. But their command system's destroyed. The USN is retreating. In order to ensure victory, we are to carry out a pursuit mission. I want you to commence this operation. Here's the military strength of our army and the enemy. No data. Hold on, I do have some more money, so... Let me, um... Let me upgrade a couple more of my, my mechs, just in case. Just in case I gotta use them. There you go, gotcha. Oh, well, thanks, Faye. I appreciate that, my man. Like, it's, it's... Well, that's, that's a lot. Well, jeez, man, thanks. It's going towards games. I want to let you know that right away. Whatever you give me is going towards games. 
and gaming related gaming related paraf paraphernalia. No, uh, it's a uh, it's been it's been a long month. I'm I'm back on track. I'm getting my my groove back on. S this, the music's the music's in the atmosphere is helping. But... Oh well, thanks, man. Well, you made you made it awesome. I just ate pizza and chilled, and I'd say the best part of my birthday was just streaming with you guys and hanging out. Um, I think I watched something with my brother. We watched some uh, Joe Montana documentary. That was pretty fun. You indulged my weird shit like playing Breath of Fire. I appreciate you. Hey, anytime, man. You know I love some Breath of Fire. So. Um... I want I want to give Frederick some better, slightly better stuff too. At least the armor wise, I want to give him the upgraded engine. And then that means that I can give him the better. Go. I actually just got, um, uh, my buddy got me, um, an adapter for the PS2. I'm, I'm going to trade for a, a newer PS2. I, I'm going to hook him up with one of the games I have extras of, but, um, it has like an SD card slot, so you could play PS2 games off the SD, SD cards. So that's pretty cool. One of my kids had a birthday yesterday and I'll have COVID so I can hang out with them. I got him Bowser's Fury and had to basically hand it to him to the mail slot. Oh. <laughs> well, that's sweet of you. That's sweet of you to hand, to still be there, though. And I, I'm, I'm sure he, I'm sure he still appreciated it, for sure. Oh, you know what? Let's upgrade Yian, because I might end up using Yian eventually. Then he forgot the dolls, basically say, Oh, this isn't Kirby's Forgotten World. <laughs> oh, man. Well, it's because that's how you know he's your kid. <laughs> No, kids are always like like that with the social social cues. Um I'm gonna use him with machine guns. Now I always have had the Kirby game for him. But not since that kid now. You can wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I remember one birthday, uh, one birthday I got, uh, one, uh, starter deck of magic cards, but I, I remember I was, like, it was what I wanted, so I was just happy. And it's actually funny, because it's, it's one of the most, more memorable birthday presents I remember, and it was, like, something smaller. Spectrum kids somewhere, he's way into Spectrum. Do I have functioning autistic kids such as Asperger's? So interactions with him are frequently cool and fun. Oh, I gotcha. That's interesting. Oh, geez. 
here. You seem to be in a bad mood. Of course I am, making a ceasefire agreement just as we're about to achieve total victory. What are the politicians thinking? The ceasefire was due to the peace pact. There's nothing we can do. Then you think we should submit to the dictate of the Republic of Zafter? All we can do is withdraw our young men from the battlefield before there are any more needless casualties. I never thought I'd hear you say something like that. Something crazy is going to happen. Enemy forces discovered. Commence attack. Be careful, the enemy forces are suicidal. Lieutenant, we're cornered. Hmm. All forces attack at will. Show them what the U.S. Center are made of. Yes, sir. Dude, I have a friend who loves magic. He has like 20,000 magic cards. I'm just freaking like, dude, you should play magic. I tell him, heck no, I don't want to take like a year's worth of mortgage payments to catch up to you. <laughs> Hearthstone is almost as bad, except you pay money for imaginary cards. Well, and they're always, they can balance it um, a little easier. No, dude, uh, definitely know what you mean, though, because uh, I've been in and out of it so much. Like, I mostly played, I want to say I mostly played in the... Um, In the early early or late 90s mid mid to late 90s early 2000s but i'd always end up trading my decks because uh i don't know and then and now some of those cards i'm just like uh you know what i'm good i'll I'll look at some stuff online by myself. There's a, a PSP version that has all the cards loaded in. And sometimes I'll play that by myself. Just to get get the feeling of the, the old card game again. I'm going to take these dudes out. Now, something's going to happen that prolongs the war, or, like, we're going to end up switching sides, or some, something crazy is going to happen. This is the way of all these games and stories. I always like when the flip happens, when something, like, super crazy happens, you're like, what? I guess I don't always like it when the flip happens, but I like when it's well done.
I can't believe she's still leveling up. Yeah, just give her all the attacks. Jeez. Take this guy out first. Jesus, the internet dropped crazy. I start having my main guy do some short attacks to try to up his short skill. Cause I feel like I've upped his long skill. And if I could if I could get his mid his sh his short game and his long game up, I feel like he's gonna be pretty unstoppable. That's good, he needs to experience. I'm trying to think of other types of tea I can make. Because I know I can make Arnold Palmer's. That was like the first specialized tea I learned how to make. What's the tea in Lufia? Cinnamon tea? No, it's cinnamon pie. She makes cinnamon pie and something tea. I should make I should make Luffy a tea. Earl Grey with honey. Earl Grey hot. Sorry, I've been lurking. No, it's all good. I appreciate the alert. Cap Captain Picard it. Oof. Cinnamon pie and Luffy. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. So at the very beginning of the game, when Luffy is like, "I'm gonna go off and I'll make you some," I'm pretty sure it's cinnamon pie. But she says tea too. She says tea and pie. I'll just have to play Lufia one again. It's been a it's been a couple years. 
I do. I thought you were talking about making tea. Oh yeah, no. Uh, I was, but I was I was saying in the game she makes a specific type of tea, and I was like, I should figure out what that is and make make that type of tea. If you want, it's underrated. It's simple, but fun. It's, you know, my my buddy got it. It was one of the first Super Nintendo RPGs we had. I think I I think we played Illusion of Gaia, Zelda, Lufia. Because we didn't get the Final Fantasies till later. Uh, Soul Blazer. I think Seventh Saga was one of the first turn turn based rpgs i had on the super nintendo but yeah no lufio is one of those games like the music the atmosphere like uh, the whole game's just like pretty good also i should have healed Natalie. and i need to heal jj No, I should play that again, because I beat it, so the last time I played Lufia 1 uh, was by myself on my cool CRT TV that doesn't work anymore, sadly, but... Um, I had a lot of fun playing that. I, I mean, I, could, I guess I've been playing it since the 90s or whatever, but... It's just always fun going back to play some of those games. Man, I wish the internet was fluctuating so badly tonight. But at least it didn't drop yet. Oh, fingers crossed as I said that. Yeah, come to think of it, we had like a weird lot of RPGs growing up. Because, uh, I had Dragon Warrior, Dragon Warrior 1 and Final Fantasy 1. And so I knew what Final Fantasy was, and I would tell all my friends about it. And I would let my, my buddy borrow my Final Fantasy 1 cart. Um, but we could just never... We could never afford two or three. Like, they would never s sell us, or we could never get a copy of two or three. So instead we got, like, Lufia, we had, like, Ghost Lion. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. We had some, like, weird, obscure RPGs. Just 
to inform the armies of both the USN and OCU, a ceasefire agreement has been struck today as of 1600 hours. All forces are to quickly fall back to their bases. I repeat, both countries have agreed to a ceasefire. What? Captain Driscoll, what the hell is going on? It's nothing. The war is over. Return to base. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the frame rate. Oh man, Ghost Lane was so jank. It is, it is, but I, I do really want to beat Ghost Lane one day. I still have it. I still have that original copy. It can't be. What were we fighting for then? Because we were at war. Yeah. I can't stand to look at our fallen brethren. Oh man, so are they still going to attack us? Am I supposed to... I guess I'll try to fall back then. That's what they told me to do. I mean, they can't... These guys can't really do that much damage to me anyways. It's awesome that, like, any game that I mention, you're just like, yeah, I know that game. <laughs> no, they're still attacking me. I honestly wonder what you're like what what I'm supposed to do though like if it goes far enough should I just attack him am I supposed to just attack him I mean it's pretty pretty serious and warm when they're like hey cease fire you're not supposed to keep firing at that point you don't want to get court-martialed or whatever You're just a hired killing machine. I'll just have I'll just have these other guys just stay up front. If they attack them, they attack them. I don't really know what else I'm supposed to do in the battle unless I'm supposed to just murder everybody. enemy isn't falling back. They're headed this way. They still want to fight. What do we do? I guess we have no choice but to fight. Ow. 
I tried. Sorry, the cicada is just gonna kill everybody. She's an A lister. Wonder what the max level in this game is. Missed a couple shots, unfortunately. Oh, I guess this short is pretty, is pretty good. Oh, he almost killed him. Say Frederick's a little farther back, experience wise. Is there still a guy over here? Or no, that's the guy that moved up here, I think. They all moved together then. Oh, 
Oh, my stomach. Why did I attack the, the, the arms? Because I wanted to miss. No, I was trying to give, uh, I was trying to weaken him so Frederick could kill him, huh? needs experience too. I should really have Pee Wee get a bunch of kills. So we can't really upgrade his weapon. I really should have just let the guys, the guys that backed off live. But I didn't want the battle to keep going. There you go. War is over. Fools, why do they continue to fight even though the war is over? This battle is completely unnecessary. So the war is over. On this day, the Second Huffman War came to an end. Along with the ceasefire, both countries, OCU and USN, were in position to accept the proposal of Zaftra Republic, one which exercises direct control over PMO. Okay. Guessing there's supposed to be some text dialogues there? 
Your real mission begins here, understand. However, it seems that they are too resistant to become materials. Just leave that to Sakata. Just keep an eye on them and make sure they don't escape, alright? Okay. I wonder what that other part was. As you know, troops from both armies on this island have been incorporated into the peacekeeping force. The main objective for Carrion Crow will be the dispersion of terrorist groups known as the Soul of Huffman. Our targets have changed, but I want you to continue fulfilling your duties as usual. The operation briefing will be held in the office to report there once, that is all. Okay, so now I'm just like an assassin. They just want me to go take out like specific people. Specific civilian targets that may or may not be armed. There's a former USN field hospital to the northeast of this town. A doctor na named there named Brown is suspected of having connections with the terrorists. Your next mission is to investigate this hospital. Okay. Let me see if there's any other new gear here. Kind of doubt it, though. Investigate a hospital in walking tanks. Hey, what's up, Polar? Yeah, it doesn't seem like the best, uh... The best group of people to be sending in there. But... Just like my Japanese animes. Field hospital. Dr. Brown? Yes, who are you? We're from the Peacekeeping Force. You're suspected of having connections with the terrorists. We have come here to investigate. Terrorists? That's absurd. I was a sci scientific engineer for the OCU. Why would I side with the terrorists? Please leave now. What should we do now? We're not spies, so we can't really investigate. Anyways, let's just collect some more information. Oh, cool. So I just talked to people? Dr. Brown. He might be a bit blunt, but he's a good person. No one here would say anything bad about the doctor. <sighs> about the doctor. Since the war ended, we've sent most of the injured to the town hospital. But for some reason, the doctor doesn't want to move from this place. It's strange that he's so popular. Don't say such things. Looks like we'll just have to stay here for a while and see. Oh no. Look at that. We're the soul of Huffman. We're here for Dr. Brown. Andy, I want you to get their attention. Some of the others and I will circle around behind them. Alright. Hey you, what do you guys want with the doctor? Brown stabbed us in the back. He cooperated with us, then sent an info about us to the PMO. That guy's crazy looking, by the way. only 
focus. Hold it right there. Now, get out of your wanzers and you won't get hurt. How would you like it if I destroy the hospital? You think you can threaten us like that? Shit. Oh, damn. Well, one guy down. So his Sakata is pretty strong, so... These guys are actually... So is JJ. These guys are actually pretty fucked. Oh man, Pee does like no damage now. There's gotta be a way to upgrade the supply car though. It's okay. The first time PB's died in a long time. I took that guy out pretty good. <laughs> Kinda wish Natalie was here though.
Damn. And I wonder when we're gonna get new, uh, new equipment and stuff. Didn't even want to attack her. He's just like, uh, I'll attack this guy. Okay, so what I'm going to start doing, probably not in this battle, because this battle I only have so many guys. But I'm going to start uh, having Sakata just attack everyone's arms, and then I'll just have my weaker guys just go in and just fucking take everybody out. If she's strong enough, she could just probably just go through and just shoot everybody's arms off. Let's see. My stomach's burning a little bit. I think that's part of the virus, some type of virus that's going on. Because I've always, I've never had like these weird burning feelings in certain parts of my stomach. It's very strange, very strange stuff going on. If they're hot shit, try and attack a hospital.
two points. Yeah, there's been this fire scum around for the past few years or so, so getting older, so you may want to buy some tums for occasional use, reflux becomes a thing. Yeah, that's probably it more than anything. Well, I was just wondering, because I know it's supposed to be a respiratory virus, but I was just wondering if there's something that causes lower lower abdominal pain, though. You're probably right, though. It's probably just from getting older. I have been trying to eat healthier, but not all... Not, not as much as I need to, though. Yeah. Oh, they give you calcium? That'd probably be good, because I, I don't drink milk. I, I've, I've always had problems drinking milk, I don't know why. I've even thought about getting chocolate milk just to be able to get some milk in my system. Eating, eating healthier is murder. Like, why are delicious foods so bad for you? I know, seriously. I know you were involved with the terrorists. No, I don't know them. They're lying. Got a problem. Those guys weren't terrorists. What? Look at this. This is, this is their unit's identification symbol. It's OCU. OCU, so they finally tracked me down. What do you mean? I want an explanation. I... While I was a science officer for the OCU, I did top secret research. It involved inputting information into the brains of embryos created using artificial insemination. In those days, I thought about little more than becoming famous. What? I didn't press anything. It just went by. Trolling in my well brain, what do you mean? Yogurt actually makes my stomach burn more. Just asking you if it's possible. Can you do it? Yogurt's good for your gut. I know I love yogurt, but it, it always get like really sick when I eat it. It's theoretically possible, yes, however. I should probably try it again, though. So, uh, this the whole game being fully translated is not, um... Entirely accurate. I escaped and eventually I ended up here. I began using my talents to help people. But I can never wipe away the crime in my research. Now I've gone and exposed. See, I kind of know what's going on. Uh, just from piecing everything together, but it's still annoying. Probably because it's fixing your gut. Maybe, but it, it burned really bad. I've got to expose my patients to the danger. I'm leaving. No, Doctor, you're a great physician. Please stay here and continue your work. That's right. Don't go. We need your support. Your leaving here won't end this. Do you understand that? Yes. Yes, I do. I know that. Everyone, thank you. But the OCU will be back. They'll be looking for me, and I can't protect everyone. I can't protect anyone here when that happens. I'm going to go somewhere alone. I've received Natalie's report. What does it say? Dr. Brown possesses some top secret information on the OCU. That's why the OCU tried to eliminate him. They disguised themselves as terrorists to hide the connection between Dr. Brown and the OCU. Yeah, if the PMO found it out, then you're not the one behind this after all. What? What would I know about some scientists? Never mind that. There's someone I want you to meet. Come to the office by yourself. Allow me to introduce the president of Sakata Industries, Koichi Sakata. I see you've been looking after my little brother. 
little brother. Yes, Ryuji Sakata is my younger brother. He ran away from home, joined the military, and ended up here. Anyways, I've called you here for no other reason than to hire your unit. The president thinks highly of you. Exactly, I want to welcome you to, into my company as the test pilot for our latest monster. This is after you've eliminated the terrorists, of course. What? Alright, I'll have them make preparations immediately. A group that we believe to be made up of terrorists is heading towards this town. What? We still have time. Lloyd, make preparations to ambush them. Please let me use the phone. Go ahead. It's me, Sakata. Let's get you so worked up. The terrorists are coming. They must be after me. You've got to help me. Fine. Alright, on that note, guys, I might go grab something to try to fix my gut. It's getting pretty late here. But I'm thinking with the time shift and everything, and um, everything I've kind of thought about the last couple days, I might just start streaming a little later. I don't know. I don't know. Because it seems like everyone's still up late. Um, I kind of hate the time time shift. I wish it would just stay like it was 2 o'clock right now. But yeah, I appreciate everything, guys. I'm going to go get some something to eat to kind of settle my stomach. Maybe some bread or like a tortilla. And then um, I will see you guys later. Take it easy.